out over the top, taken by Sam Bedlow, getting used to starting in Bristol's midfield at the moment. And then here's Pia Tau, magic in those feet, even on a boggy surface. Alapati Leua, return to colours for him in the absence of the injured Henry Purdy, tweaked his hamstring last week. That's just a sign of the issues that players and their boots will have today. Two is holding nine in. Sheedy whips it back to Bedlow, who looks to find some space, and Vui, part of the link that helps release Morahan and Morahan back to Vui. All arms and muscle and bustle. He's got it over the line. Did he get it over the line cleanly? I think he does, so we're going to go on field try. Well, well, well. Keith, it's tempo. Keith Lewis has got to put the jump cakes down. He's called it to business. He's allowed to place immediately. Yes. Fingers still on the ball. Good finish, good control. Absolutely, that's a try. Yeah, you may award the try. Tame Bath Rugby in what was sure to be a tasty West Country derby. And it was the Bears who got the first points of the new season. Irish international Ian Madigan landing a penalty on nine minutes. Todd Blackadder's side responded and should have taken the lead, but for a rather embarrassing moment for Tom Homer, the fullback looking for all the world like he'd scored, only for replays to show he'd lost control of the ball. In what was a rather cagey first half, Madigan doubled his side's lead on 29 minutes to give Bristol a 6-0 cushion at half-time. Pat Lamb's side increased this lead to nine early in the second and the out-half made it three from three with the boots. Bath finally got into the match on 52 minutes and after his earlier blunder, Homer made amends. Quick hands from Rhys Priestland set the 28-year-old clear and he finished well. Priestland added the conversion and was involved again shortly after. This time he took his side into the lead for the first time in the match as he landed a penalty. But Madigan cancelled this out minutes later, keeping up his 100% record from the tee. And the night only got better for the newcomers as they sealed the game late on. Luke Morahan, the instigator, the three-time capped Wallaby showing his class as he powered through Francois Lowe before superbly offloading to Ali Pati Leua and the former Wasp man did the rest. What a start to the Bears' season, getting one over their rivals and showing the rest of the league they're a force to be reckoned with. Now it comes from Uren to Shidi. Piatau again, looking for the step, rounding his man. It is all Bristol. They're the ones injecting any kind of urgency, and there's space for Piertau, and Piertau charging to within seven metres, and on hand is Hughes on his Bristol Premiership debut, and the Bears have started at a rate of knots. Bristol racing across here through Prothero. This time he gathers it, but straight into touch by the flag. And the hack through. Very profitable for Bath. Okay, now this is something that Bristol will know about from last week, the driving mall. Here's oh. Mercer. He's got it. Bath strike back. And they strike back through their number eight. Fackerweights, Atwood, poised. No. Afoa and Luatua, the two New Zealanders combining. Hughes sizing up the options. Joyce riding side saddle, got to be close. Atwood, not a penalty advantage. Hands and now they put a little bit of whip on it, slicing through, it's Prothero! Bristol Bears in the clash in front of more than 60,000 fans. Bath had won their last two matches against their fierce rivals and were looking to continue their push for a playoff spot. And they made the perfect start, Jonathan Joseph pouncing from close range after just three minutes. 
Bristol's mission was to edge closer to safety and they responded well. Callum Sheedy slotting a penalty to put the Bears on the board. Back came Bath to score their second try in a whirlwind opening 10 minutes. Joseph the creator this time with a delightful kick for Jamie Roberts to chase and dive over. And when Joe Thokonasiga used his sizeable frame to power over for Bath's third, they were firmly in control of the derby with a 19-3 lead. The Bears continued to battle and three more penalties from Sheedy reduced their deficit to just seven points at the interval. The second half was a tighter affair and it took until the 56th minute for Bath to get their bonus point score. Rhys Priestland kicked through a loose ball inside the Bears 22 and chased it down for a try which he converted to take the lead to 26-12. Bristol finally got their first try of the game following some neat hands. Dan Thomas racing into the corner to create an exciting finish. But the Bears couldn't find the converted score they needed and Bath saw it out to clinch a classic clash victory. Same Bath rugby in what was sure to be a tasty West Country derby. And it was the Bears who got the first points of the new season. Irish international Ian Madigan landing a penalty on nine minutes. Todd Black at his side responded and should have taken the lead, but for a rather embarrassing moment for Tom Homer, the fullback looking for all the world like he'd scored only for replays to show he'd lost control of the ball. In what was a rather cagey first half, Madigan doubled his side's lead on 29 minutes to give Bristol a 6-0 cushion at half-time. Pat Lamb's side increased this lead to nine early in the second, and the out-half made it three from three with the boots. Bath finally got into the match on 52 minutes, and after his earlier blunder, Homer made amends. Quick hands from Rhys Priestland set the 28-year-old clear, and he finished well. Priestland added the conversion and was involved again shortly after. This time he took his side into the lead for the first time in the match as he landed a penalty. But Madigan cancelled this out minutes later, keeping up his 100% record from the tee. And the night only got better for the newcomers as they sealed the game late on. Luke Morahan, the instigator, the three-time capped Wallaby showing his class as he powered through Francois Lowe before superbly offloading to Ali Pati Leua and the former Wasp man did the rest. What a start to the Bears' season, getting one over their rivals and showing the rest of the league they're a force to be reckoned with.